Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it'll take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, you can call my brother Luke in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 1998 Coachman van. Alrighty, folks, it's time for the inside portion of today's video tour. As always, I will start at the front, make my way towards the rear of the coach. I will then come back towards the front. I'm going to try to get you a few different angles so you can get a feel for the overall space as well as the overall condition. We are a small family owned and operated dealership. My father started this business back in 1976. Myself and my brother have taken over the day-to-day -day operations. So if you stop in, you're more than likely going to see myself or Luke. We do consider ourselves to be a no pressure sales place. We welcome you to take up to eight hours during our normal operating hours, touring this one or any one of our RVs. We want you to feel comfortable with your purchase and make sure that you find the RV that is right for you. So starting off here, both of these front captain's chairs are a combination of leather and cloth. Leather on the outsides with the cloth runner down the center. Uh, passenger seat's in really good shape as you've seen. Uh, driver's seat does have uh, some stress cracks on this corner. Uh, nothing's through yet. Uh, but there are some stress cracking there on the front edge. We've got oak cabinetry all the way throughout. That there is your fuse panel and circuit breakers. Lots and lots of storage everywhere. Got a butcher block uh, kitchen countertop here. Single basin kitchen sink. Thermostat for a propane furnace. Uh, master switch for some of the overhead lights as well as the porch light switch. We've got our control center here. Uh, levels test gauges. We hold this. It's going to light up each one of these, show us how much is each one of our tanks as well as uh, the condition or charge in our battery. Do have a little bit of, I think somebody tried to caulk this seam or something like that maybe. Uh, a little bit of a staining or glue there that did not come off. Spin around here. Um, we've got your on off switch for your gas water heater, battery disconnect switch, mm -hmm. fire extinguisher down bottom. Uh, this here is your two burner cooktop, uh, has a cutting board on top here. You can flip this up so we can access that two burner cooktop. So open that up there. You got your two burner cooktop. You can close that back up, slide it back in, flip that down, give you some extra prep space, counter space when you're getting ready to cook. While we're cleaning up. Range hood with fan and light. I am about 6'3". Uh, currently where I'm standing, I have probably uh, maybe two inches between the top of my head and the ceiling. Uh, so we've got plenty of head clearance uh, in here for your taller people. Uh, I'd say the ceiling is maybe about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, here, you can see that it does slope down here. Um, so we're going to be a little bit shorter in the back there. Uh, but typically you're going to be sitting down or sleeping back there so you don't need as much headroom uh, the dual swinging doors here is our restroom uh, this does not have a shower inside it does have the exterior shower uh, but we have the stool here uh, table and table leg and mirror up here uh, also have the awning Kind of hard to see if I can't, I can't back up too far. Awning crank rod as well as the awning support arm. Rooftop air conditioning unit. Microwave oven. The three-way refrigerator will run on 110 volt electricity, 12 volt, 12 volt electricity, or propane gas. You see our table can go up there and this dinette in the back. Remote start for our Onan 2800 generator is showing 890 hours. Uh, as you can see, there's tons and tons of storage in this thing. Wardrobe. Uh, we've got a curtain down there. It's probably either for the back or the front. 
Uh, storage, both sides here over the rear dinette. Uh, getting into the sleeping conditions of this unit, uh, this will sleep up to four people. Uh, we can sleep two back here. We're gonna use the table and or a board that's in here uh, to basically span this gap. You can bring your back cushions to the center, make one large bed back here. So you can sleep two people back here. Uh, we also have seat belts back here. You can see there's one, two here, as well as one, two there for a total of four people that can sit back here with seat belts, uh, plus the two in the front captain's chairs. Uh, you have six, six seat belts in this unit. Uh, both side windows here do open, so we can get some nice cross breeze on those cool mornings and cool evenings. Got surround sound up top there. As you can see, there's blinds on all these windows back here. Black two doors, the side doors, they get resituated here. Back dinette cushions are still in really good shape. Today's joke or riddle comes to you from Tim. Uh, Tim was in here this last weekend and told me his joke. What is the best kind of underwear joke? I'm actually going to hold off on the answer there. This time to give you a few minutes to think about it. I'll tell you before the video tour is over. Got a 12 volt outlet down here, carbon monoxide detector, uh, 15 and a half inch flat screen TV. You can swivel this bad boy if you want. Uh, it does have a built in DVD player. Makes it easier to watch those movies. You don't have to run cords up to the cabinet to a DVD player. You can pop the DVD right into the TV itself. Carpet inside this is all in really good shape. A um, little bit of fading and stuff through a few areas, but for a 1998, uh, carpet is still pretty dang clean. Woodworking all is nice. There's not scratches or dings or dents in the, the woodworking or cabinets. Uh, you got the fantastic fan up there in the ceiling. And the other sleeping position in this is the overhead bunk. Uh, we can potentially sleep up to two people up top there as well. I will pull that out for you in a second here. Uh, one of the nice things about this is the back doors do open. We've got this nice long aisle all the way up to the cabin. There's nothing in the way. A lot of people tend to ask about hauling kayaks. Uh, if you didn't have an extremely long kayak, you could shove it up through the center. Would make traveling uh, a little more difficult with it shoved up through the center. You should take it out once you get there. In this bunk area, both of these overhead uh, windows on either side open as well. So you get that cross breeze. So we could potentially sleep up to two people up here. Uh, there is a weight capacity on this. Uh, have to search through the manual to find out what the weight capacity is. I'm not sure off the top of my head, uh, but the, we've got the mattress up there that would pull back. I'm not gonna do that video for the video right now. Uh, this pulls in and out easily with one hand, so we can sleep up to two people up here as well. Slides back easily in with one hand. It's pretty cool to sleep up there. You can watch the stars and stuff out the side windows and the front window. To the answer to the joke, what is the best kind of underwear joke? It's brief. GMC, Chevy chassis, same thing. Uh, power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, CD player. Uh, we've got 86, uh, don't quote me exactly, I believe it's 86,000 miles on this one. Um, I'm going to rate this thing about maybe an eight and a half. Uh, outside shined up very nicely, interior. Uh, as you can see, it's still in really good shape. Uh, if you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty, folks, we're going to run around the outside of this Coachman van here real quick. We are 19 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. The tires have date codes of 1417. We have a nine foot awning. This is on the GMC Express Van 2500 chassis. It is powered by the 5.7 liter V8 engine. Here we have vent and access to the, to the hot water heater, vent and access to the back of the refrigerator, vent for the propane furnace. Coming around to the back of the coach, you can see down bottom we have the tow package. Driver's side rear corner. We have the coach battery. 
Gonna hook our shore power cord up here. Sewer hose storage, exterior shower, black and gray water tank dumps, our propane tank, gasoline tank, freshwater tank connection, city water connection, and last but not least, our Onan 2800 generator. Ooh.